Hello and welcome. This is Vanessa Graulish, and today I want to do a fan review for Choro 2021. Um, this book is really cool, and they're doing also the video game. So I said, why not do a fan review to just make the energy, you know, just move, and hopefully the project can get bigger. Yes. So let's talk about it. First of all, I would like to tell you what happened in Venezuela. So I'm from Venezuela, and I'm just going to read you this piece from um, a journal, a very good one, and I'm putting the link here. And it's basically about the Dutch disease. And here we go. Under Chavez, elected president in 1998, Venezuela came to experience one of the worst cases of Dutch disease in the world. Dutch disease is a rapid increase in the production of raw materials like oil and gas, causing a decline in other sectors of the economy. So yes, there is um, the Dutch disease, uh, then you have political problems, and basically, you know, you have a, a, a bad outcome to put it away. Now, why I enjoy the book, Choro 2021? Well, first, I remember watching like several podcasts and uh, I also saw interviews of Carl Sitteman and I felt like, you know, he was very intellectual, smart. And when I saw uh, the book, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. I never like to buy books to read for entertainment because I read a lot for, uh, you know, for my job and I'm very instructional. And usually like everything that I read has a sequence and I A, B, C, D. And for me to read a whole book, just like I read this book, it was actually kind of like a miracle. So why do I think it was so good? The book is in Spanish. And what it basically is, is a, it's like a um, Western post-apocalyptic, post like a rope tree for, uh, you know, like a Venezuela basically that is in ruins. And what it happens is that this guy, I'm not gonna say names, but this guy, basically he starts working with, you know, this girl, and they have to go through all of these worlds. And obviously you have a lot of like the Venezuelan touch and it has full, full of references. Starting with his horse, it's a white horse and his name is Amador. And if you're Venezuela and you're contemporary to, contemporary to me, you're gonna be like, ah, Amador Bendayan. So yes, that's how the book starts. And there's so many references. So I really enjoy it. And I feel uh, that because of that, and let me just go ahead and just get my chi chi here. Okay, so why do I think Choro 2021 is a good book? So let's start first with the ethos, which is the speaker credibility and trust. That's the character. Super smart. And honestly, this was the perfect mixture, mixture of an engineer with someone that you know, it's very good in what they do when, you know, he also do um, he, this. Okay, Carl Sitterman is an engineer and he, he's also a director and he also does a lot of like, uh, I don't know how to say it, like movies, television production, visual productions. And I felt like this was basically the perfect balance for that. So ethos, speaker credibility and trust, check. Pathos, listener, emotions and values. Bueno. The whole book, I was like, oh my God, I remember that. And it has so many really nice uh, references. And you do have to, I have to say that you do have to be like Venezuelan from my time to be like, oh my God, but it, it's incredible. I, I really like, um, I really like that. Then from there, we have Logos, which is reality, logic, and proof. This is a, um, in, um, a fiction book, but every single chapter he goes to like different missions to put it away think of a video game like that he goes through different missions and everything obviously like i said is fictional but it makes sense and he builds the logic of something that is fictional but it could happen it's like basically he goes like hey, this is what i see like the engineer <laughs> of when he wrote you know like the book he did a great job basically like always wrapping up whatever thing that he started and you're like how is he gonna get away with this like this is just crazy but then there's an explanation obviously like i said it's fictional but the explanation makes sense so that's the reason why i feel the book is very good because it has a really good balance between subjective and objective so i'm looking forward for the video game 
and I'm really excited. I, ho I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm very like horrible in video games. I don't know how is the video game going to be, but um, you can actually go and start seeing the project. And I felt that the reason why I'm doing the podcast in English is because I don't think you need to speak Spanish to maybe enjoy uh, Choro 2021, the video game. So I hope you enjoyed this mini fan review and I'll see you in the next podcast.